Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to enable open type features in Microsoft Word 2016. I'm working in Windows 10, so if you're on a Mac, the menus will look a little different, but the options and the steps in those menus are generally going to be the same. If you're working with an older version of Microsoft Word, something between 2010 and 2016, you'll have some open type support, but not as much as the current version of the app, so I recommend upgrading if you can. And if you can't, check out the blog post I've linked in the video description below that explains how open type features work in Word 2010. Before 2010, <laughs> you're out of luck. Those versions of Word do not support open type font features. First of all, you want to make sure you have an open type version of your font installed on your computer. An open type font is a font with extra little bits of programming that the font's creator designed to enhance the functionality of the font. In some cases, this will include things like alternate versions of a letter, like swashes, or it could just provide for a richer typesetting experience. Each open type font is different, so if you have questions about yours, refer to the foundry or the designer who created the file. Once you have your open type font installed on your operating system, go ahead and open up a blank Word document. In this document here, I'm using a font from Rare Bird Font Foundry called Specimen 4. This is a font that I designed together in collaboration with Lisa Mavian, who provided the fabulous lettering. You'll see if I just start typing, obviously I have a basic character set, but I know there are actually a lot more letters, numbers, and other characters to choose from in this font. Word will recognize many of these alternates, but only if I turn these alternate features on. So how do we turn on these features? First, click on the font palette's additional options. That's this little square and arrow right here. Next, you'll want to click on the Advanced tab. This tab shows us the various advanced typesetting options that we'll have control over. As you see, we can adjust the scale, the spacing and position, and most importantly, the font's kerning. As to why you should always enable kerning, well, that's another video for another day, but just trust me, click this box and enable kerning in your document, always. Make this a habit. Now we'll move on to the open type features themselves. You'll see there's several drop-down options here, and there's more options within each drop-down. You'll see lots of ligatures, numeral spacing, forms, and stylistic sets. And at the very bottom here, there's a box that we can click that will enable contextual alternates. Refer to your font's documentation and the user guides to see which features your font contains, and then experiment by turning these features on and off. The preview window will show you what the features do in real time. Some designers will layer open type functionality so that the features can actually interact with one another to produce different effects. Any selections that you've highlighted in these drop-down menus will activate those features. And obviously clicking this tick box on and off will enable or disable contextual alternates. One drawback to using Word instead of professional graphic design software like Adobe Illustrator or InDesign is that Word unfortunately does not support every open type feature. So it's possible if you're using the program, you're missing out on some of the extras in your font. Some type designers will duplicate the features into stylistic sets. Uh, Rare Bird Font Foundry does do this, but not all designers do. So just something to keep in mind. You can enable any or all of these options before you begin typing, in which case those settings will affect any text that you type after that. Or if you only want to enable features for certain letters, words, or lines, like a drop cap at the beginning of your first paragraph, you just simply highlight those characters, and then while they're highlighted, open up the Advanced Font Options window. Any changes you make will only affect the highlighted text. One last note. Don't forget, Word's autocorrect and autoformat features are on by default and will override any open type features that your font may utilize. If you want to get the most out of your font, or if you can't see certain characters that you know are there, be sure to turn off the autocorrection and autoformat options. And that's it. Hope this helps you get the most out of your open type fonts in Microsoft Word. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment field below. And don't forget to check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more type-related tutorials.